I believe I've just found the best way to organize samples, loops, and sounds. As an audio producer, your life can be chaos when you lose everything you're supposed to be working with. That's why for years I've been trying to perfect the art of keeping all my loops, samples, and sounds in easy, accessible places. It's not easy, but I found a service called Loop Cloud that is proving to be really promising. If you'd like to sign up for an account, go to mrc.fm forward slash loop cloud. Now let's take a look at how this works. When you sign up, you automatically get free samples and welcome packs that you can test out and it works with any door, which is fantastic. It's super intuitive. I can drop down into some of the samples, go for something house and techno. I can go for a loop here and I can choose something from maybe the percussion loops right here. Uh, and what are we going to go for? I can go for anything. I can listen to a low quality sample the moment I click. Okay, that's enough of that. Listen to this as well. Oh, that's funky. I like that. So I want to drag it into Adobe Audition. Really, really easy. You just drag, keep the mouse button depressed until it's done. And then when it's done, you let go inside Adobe Audition. And there is our loop inside Audition. How cool is that? Uh, and not only that, you can use all of the loops included with Loop Cloud, but that's no good, right? If you can't drag in and analyze your own loops, samples, and sounds. If we're doing radio imaging or we're using music beds, we want to do that. Well, that's not a worry. I've got my sound effects library here, the Music Radio Creative Production Elements Volume 1, and I'm going to try it out now in Loop Cloud. Let's see how this works. Drag and drop, simple as that, and boom, it's in. And already it's analyzing everything using some algorithms that Loop Cloud has to figure out everything I've got in my library. It's doing all of this in the cloud, analyzing really fantastic stuff. So I would guess now if I just um, maybe get rid of this window and drag open Loop Cloud a little bit more to take a look at what it's doing. If I go, for instance, into music here, I can see already, wow, this is amazing. And it's taking some time to do it. It's doing it in real time here, but it's adding different tags to all of my folders based on the kind of stuff that it thinks I've got, which is fantastic for organization. Remember what I've been saying about it's chaos to organize all of our loops, our samples, and our sounds? Well, now with this, this is looking amazing. So I can go into my dance and electronic folder. This is from my own production library, and I can see already it is tagging with the BP inf BPM information, which is accurate because I already have the BPM information in the file name. And yes, those are all matching up really nicely. It also gets the key, which is fantastic, the key of your music, and it'll tag it uh, with different tags. So bass music, synth bass, however it's doing this, it's just amazing. This is going to save me so much time. Uh, the same with my sound effects. I can go in here and I can see already it knows that there's guitar in some of the sound effects. Obviously, if I go into the rock music sound effects here, I can see that it's tagged them all as effects. Some of them is containing guitar. This is just fantastic. So I can play. Yeah, there's a guitar. There's certainly a guitar in that sound effect, isn't there? I can go here. This has been tagged as a guitar riser. Let's have a listen. Play. Yeah, that's definitely a riser. This is fantastic. Now, if I want to change it so that I can only see everything on my hard disk and not the stuff that's up in the cloud, I can just click the hard disk button like that, and it will show me only stuff in my library now that I've got uh, synced right here to my hard disk. But everything is analyzed and uh, tagged in the cloud, which is fantastic. So now if I wanted to go back to some music, let's play this. Let's have a listen to one of my music tracks. Now, obviously, there's bits that I can do with this. I can choose a pattern, so I can go for just one bar like that and play one bar. Perfect. This is really, really cool stuff. Not only that, but I can change the BPM, no doubt, so I can make it, uh, wow, let's make it a faster BPM, shall we? Let's make it uh, 135 BPM, because I'm doing a beat mix at 135. And it just got faster. Now, the original files will always be available to you, but obviously this Loop Cloud service uh, is altering things on the fly for you. I can also change the key. Look at this, fantastic. It's in the key of C. What if I want the key of F? Yeah, it's not a problem. Now it's in the key of F. Wow, and we'll change the bar to be uh, a four bar, and let's have a listen to that. Really cool. Okay, I'm really happy with that. I want to drag it in. No worries. Let's drag it and, uh, of course, making sure to drop it in the file section of Audition. And there it is. Wow. 
the altered version ready to go in Adobe Audition. Really, really cool. This is going to save me hours in finding the right music bed or sound effect. Uh, obviously, you can you can search by tag. That's not a tro trouble at all. Uh, here are all your instruments, your genres, your labels, everything you could possibly want. Keys and BPMs. This is really, really good. Okay, so I want to see everything uh, that is between, let's say, 120 to 124 BPM. And there you go. It's going to pull me out all of the music tracks in my library uh, in that track. And you even choose the key in the key of C. Oh, okay. There's one track in the key of C in my library so far. But you get the idea. This, this sorting is absolutely super. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm genuinely impressed. And I'm going to be using this for my organization because believe me, I need to get organized. Now, uh, let's go back and just undo all of this so that we can see all of our library again. If you ever, for whatever reason, uh, get to your library and you say, uh, well, this is not quite right. Let's have a listen. This is a transition. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that could definitely be a transition, but maybe I want to edit the tags, pencil icon here. You can wipe that out and say, that's not a transition. You can get rid of that, but you can also use the tag manager here uh, to add in uh, different labels. So I can say, okay, all right, this is whatever it's going to be. I can even create my own tags and labels by clicking the create tag or edit tag here. I can choose genres and instruments, and really the labeling here is endless. Uh, but yes, it is definitely going to make the organization of my loops, my samples, and my sounds super easy. And I definitely recommend you go and sign up because not only uh, do you get to upload all of your sound effects library, uh, but you also get access uh, to the wonderful stuff inside Loop Cloud. And there's plenty of good stuff that I've yet to explore. But if you want to go and get an account now, go over to mrc.fm forward slash Loop Cloud. The link is in the description, mrc.fm forward slash Loop Cloud, and enjoy organizing your sounds. <laughs>